Hey everybody, Nate here again. I got a video on my 91 Explorer again. I was told that uh, I put, well, I posted my RPM and uh, speed on the Explorer forum and I was told that it's too high for highway driving. Um, it should be about uh, 2200 at 65 miles an hour, whereas mine sits around 2800 at about that uh, speed. So anyway, I thought it was working fine. Uh, I just haven't paid much attention to the shifting, and there's a couple different uh, shifting events that kind of confuse me. So I thought I'd do some diagnostics. Um, first off, we gotta pull that guy out. This is the uh, transmission shift solenoid wiring. It's right behind the washer. On my 91, it's four wires, but on my 94, it's got five, a fifth wire down here. But the uh, coloring's the same. The red is powered on all the time with the key, and then the purple, I believe, is the torque converter clutch lockup, and the orange uh, is the three to four shift solenoid, and four to three. Uh, shift as well. This is purple with a yellow stripe and orange with a yellow stripe. And on both my 91 and my 94, it remains that color from the PCM all the way to the transmission. So you can go down to the PCM here and back probe it. And you see right where my T pins are. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's there's a purple with a yellow and an orange with a yellow. And I have a T-pin on each. And then I have a known good ground here that I wired in for the inverter and a voltmeter. And so when you turn the key on, you get 12 volts and it's supposed to go almost to zero when it shifts or when the computer commands it to shift. And so that's what I'm gonna be experimenting with here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a drive and see uh, what it's doing when, if it's even commanding it. Um, but just just for reference, a um, couple things. This EVTM manual for my 91 has absolutely wrong color codes for the PCM wire. And I double checked, triple checked it. It actually shows that there's supposed to be a white wire where the blue and the orange are. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Um, and I noticed when I grounded these myself manually, I heard a click for the three to four shift solenoid, but not the torque converter solenoid. And that's exactly how it behaved on my 94 as well. So I might think that the torque converter clutch is shifted, um, it's triggered electronically and maybe bypasses or releases a valve to allow transmission fluid to flow to engage the clutch or something like that. Anyway, um, on my 94, I got 144 and 166 ohms on the solenoids, which is out of spec, but I don't really care because my 94 has a lot of other issues. But both circuits were drawing about 0.4 amps. Now on my 91, the uh, both the solenoids are within spec, 26 to 29 ohms, and they're drawing just a little bit more power. It's probably because the battery voltage is higher in the 91 than it is in the 94. But that's how you test that. Um, I'm going to try to get a video of the shifts and the triggering event of the um, torque converter clutch lockup and the 3 to 4 shift. So I'll try to get that on camera. Okay, you'll have to excuse the shitty video here. This is first gear in drive. Second. Voltage is still there on the three to four shift solenoid. Still second. Third, voltage is still there on the shift solenoid.
drive must still be commanded right now. And when I say no voltage, uh, it means I have 0.42 volts. So PCM must still be commanding overdrive right now. shift and now voltage is gone again so the computer must be commanding overdrive more video in a second okay we just made our first trip and we're checking the uh, three to four shift solenoid um, I'm gonna awkwardly change my t-pin over to the torque converter clutch solenoid so we will see now and we have voltage so we will see when this thing gets commanded let me get out on the main road here first okay we're out on the main road now this is all first gear second no torque converter command yet obviously we're still in drive, that's third. screwed up on that last test or at least my terminology of what was going on basically on my way into town the first test I only tested in drive on the shift selector and I was hooked to the 3-4 shift solenoid and naturally it commanded but never actuated um, that's probably how it's supposed to work because the shift lever uh, directs fluid and the fluid probably overrode what the computer wanted to do so on my way back the second test i was hooked to the torque converter clutch solenoid and still on manual drive on the shift selector and it commanded the torque converter and we shot we saw it shift the torque converter uh one two three and then torque converter lockup so now i'm going to drive on od with the probe on the three four shift solenoid and we'll see what happens here First, second, third, fourth, and torque converter lockup. Looks like it's working properly. And at 55, give or take, I'm about 2200, 2100 RPM. I would go faster, but my turnoff is up here. Uh, let me take care of that and we'll get another test here. Okay, we are in first. I'm gonna put this on the voltage second. 